leaders of Jesus Christ from our sister, our women leaders, the Jane, as she brings the word for today. Are you clapping for Jesus? Are you clapping for Jesus? Are you clapping for Jesus? God bless you, man. God bless you, man. God bless you, man. These are women leaders, the very humble woman. The Lord is about to give that option to support her. Please hear her. God bless you, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Women of grace, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you, man. We got one of you. May God honor you. May God honor you. May God honor you. May God honor you. Bless you. That is, may God honor you, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Yeah, let's go there. Like we all know, the theme of the of this congregation is a woman with a difference. Hallelujah. A woman with a difference. And uh, today we are going to be looking at some characters that make us different. We are going to be looking at some characters, some attitudes that make us a woman with a difference. Praise Master Jesus. You know, there are different types of people in this world. There are some people who their own difference is the evil way, while others is on the positive way. Praise Master Jesus. First of all, we are going to be looking at the book of Proverbs, which talk about women. And we are going to be looking at the character of this very woman that the Bible talks about. Praise Master Jesus. Uh, please, can you people help me to go to the book of Proverbs, chapter 31, from verse 10 to, to the end? Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. And uh, another thing I want to ask, you guys are going to pardon me. The way I read, just take it down with me. God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Proverbs chapter 31, verse 10 says, Who can find a virtuous woman. Please, man, did anybody have a Bible that has a little bit bigger letter? Because of this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Proverbs chapter 31. Yes, man. Okay, read for one. Okay, from, okay. from 10. From verse 10. From verse 10. To the end. Yes, man. Who can find a virtuous wife? For our work is far above rubies. The heart of her husband safely trusts her, so he will have no lack of gain. She does him good, not evil, all the days of her life. She seeks wool and place and willingly works with her hands. She is like the merchant's ship. She brings her food from afar. She also rises while it is yet night and provides food for her household. And a portion for her maid servants. She considers a feed and buys it. From her profit, she plants a vineyard. She guides herself with strength and strengthens her hands. She perceives that her merchandise is good and her lamp does not go out by night. She stretches out her hands to the distaff and her hands go to the spindle. She extends her hands to the poor. Yes, she reaches out her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of snow for her household. For all her household is loaded with scarlet. She makes the tapestry for herself. Her clothing is fine linen and purple. Her husband is known in the gates. When he sits among the elders of the land, she makes linen garments and sells them and supplies sashes for marshals. Strength and honor are with her clothing. She shall rejoice in time to come. She opens her mouth with wisdom, and her tongue is the, is the law of kindness. She washes over the ways of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her. Many daughters have done well, 
but he excels all. Charm is deceitful, and beauty is passing. But a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hand, and let her own works praise her in the gates. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Praise the Lord. I believe as the woman of God was reading, if you listen carefully, you will see the character of this woman. Those characters are what makes her different. Praise Master Jesus. And those characters will find them in the lives of some women in the Bible as well. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. The number one person I put here is Rahab. We all know the story of Rahab. Rahab was, a, was an harlot. She sells her body to make money. Praise Master Jesus. There come a time when, when, when Jericho, when, when the Israelites want to enter into the land, the, they went in, and the first person they not met was Hera. Hera cared these people. Praise Master Jesus. This takes me to our world where we live today. How many of us as a woman would say different? What made us a different? What is the thing that makes that woman different? When she took these people in, she lived them in her own house. Praise Master Jesus. And they asked her what she, she said something. If I hide you here, can you save me and my family? Can you assure me? Can you swear with an oath that when you, when the time comes to get this land, will, will I be saved and my family? They gave her the word. They told her, keep your house. Nobody else was with this. What did she do? She kept her heart. Praise Master Jesus. That makes her a woman with a difference. Despite her condition, despite her situation, despite that moment that, that she was doing to herself, but she has the fear of the Lord. She obeyed the word. Keep your mouth and she kept her mouth. Nobody heard this until the Israelites conquered that land and Joshua saved her in her household. That makes her a woman with a different. That's the number one. Despite all those things that she was doing, the, 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 the prostitute she was making, whatever, but she feared the Lord that comes to the world of God and she kept her and that saved her. That makes her a woman with a different. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. And another person I also put here is Ruth. Praise Master Jesus. Ruth has different kinds of characters. The number one that I love so much is compassion. She has a compassionate heart. She has compassion on that woman, her mother-in-law, who her husband died, two sons died. Can I leave this woman alone to go? If I leave her, maybe something might happen to her on the way. She will also die, and she will lose all her life, and her generation will perish. She has that compassionate heart, and she said, I will follow you. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. She said, I will follow you, and she followed this woman. Continue with her. Hallelujah. Another character that, that Ruth has on her here is obedience. Obedience. A woman with a difference. That is what we are talking about. What makes us different in the midst of the multitude? What is that thing that separates us from the midst of every other woman out there? Hallelujah. She has a compassionate heart and she has the spirit of obedience. She obeyed. When her God, when, when, when her mother in law began to push her of where to go, what to do, the steps to take, she never denied. But like nobody can tell me that that woman was not offended one day by her mother in law. In one way or the other, she might have been offended, but she overlooked. She overlooked. I say, I must follow this one. Do you have to have to go in? Do you have to have to go in and to have compassion on that thing? Are you the child that said they, they will tell you? You hear say it's a change. Don't you just have to change today? You say that that one goes for her, not too so much. No. That one goes for her. That one goes for her, not too so much. 
is not supposed to be more. Have a compassionate heart. Feel for your brothers. Feel for your sisters. When you see that your fellow sister is falling, in one way or the other, you might not have the money. You might not have that that it takes to bring that person up. Or to bring that person up, when you just a father, it's a man. A woman with a difference. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. Ruth also have another character. Ruth is a very hard-working woman. She was a very hard-working woman. The man told her, Praise Master Jesus. The man told her, you read the book of Praise Master Jesus. The book of Ruth chapter 2, verse 10 to verse 13. The man prays, I'm going to let you this read for you. Let's hear what this man told you. Sister Ruth. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ruth chapter 2. Ruth chapter 2, verse 10 to 13. Verse 10. So she fell on her face, bowed down to the ground, and she said to him, Why have I found favor in your eyes, that you should take notice of me, since I am a foreigner? 11. And Boaz answered and said unto her, It has been fully reported to me all that you have done to your mother-in-law since the death of her husband, and how you have left your father and your mother and the land of your birth, and have come to a people which you did not know before. Can you know what it is? Yes, yes ma'am. To test yes, ma'am. Okay. The Lord will pay your war and a full reward be given you by the Lord God of Israel. Under whose wings you have come for refuge. 13. Then she said, Let me find favor in your sight, my Lord, for you have comforted me and have spoken kindly to my maid servant, though I am to your maid servant, though I am not but one of your maid servants. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. As we can all see, Ruth was not even from that country. Ruth from, was from another place entirely. Situation brought her in there. So many of our situations have taken us to foreign land. We have we thought how far we know how we have nobody, we are there. But what is our character even in that condition? Ruth, her mother in law was saying that she will go and start picking the length. The leftover, over to that people. I mean, when those they will go at farm, after farming, they will approach the yam because I used to be in the village, that is what it's all about. After rooting over yam and rooting all the yam, you know the problem when you put it aside, you to go out and start the king. She will take to her own mother in law, the man that she no hope. For that woman, I can see that there was no hope for her. Because that man, that, that woman, the old woman, her mother in law, not, was not able again to give her to another child of one woman in the But in the midst of all this, she was there for the woman. But God did something for her. What did God do something for her? God made that king to marry her, and she became the grandmother of, of David, the man of Jesus. That is what a heart with compassion can do. Can do. That is where a good heart can take us to. We might have been doing some things today. We don't know who we are doing it for. If I want to do something for you, I do for you not because I am expecting anything in return. That is the life I live. I believe the few, for the few people that have known me, they know I was talking to someone that day. It's not what you are going to do to me. Because you might think she doesn't have anything, but that's little. I have. I prefer to share it. Why? Because nobody knows tomorrow. Praise Master Jesus. Her good work took her forward, took her to the level she never expected. So, what am I trying to say? I am using this opportunity to tell us if there be any area that we have neglected some issues, like Pastor will always say, somebody's school fees might have been in your pocket. If you there, I know the reason. No. 
No. We might not, we might not have all that they need, but the little, let's show concern that this issue concerns me. Let me help a bit. Praise Master Jesus. Praise the Lord. And in that place, you know, I, I also just something here. If you look at that same book of Proverbs chapter, chapter 31, you will see the character of Ruth there. Just a little one. That woman, I don't know how to explain her, or I don't know how to go further about her situation. But sometimes when I have an opportunity to see them and look at the life of these women in the Bible, I ask myself, where do you belong? Where do you belong? Praise the Master Jesus. And that was that question has kept me going, irrespective of any situation or circumstances that comes my way. Praise the Master Jesus. Praise the Lord. There is another woman here that going to be looking at her story. Praise the Lord. Deborah. Deborah. Deborah, she has this courage. You know, if you know one, you know what we're like. We are man, but only as woman. If you are not going, I'm not going to imagine. The man told me, the prophet told me, if you are not going with me, I'm not going. I don't know where. Courage. We need to be courageous. We need to be courageous. As women, it's a difference. We want to get there. We want to do the things. We want to really become that woman with the things that we should do. Praise Master Jesus. Deborah was a prophet and she was a judge at the same time. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Deborah was a prophet at the same time she was a judge. She is, she was a leader. She leads a people. She leads a people. Praise Master Jesus. Praise the Lord. Let's look at the book of Judges. Praise Master Jesus. Judges chapter 4. Mommy, I'm sorry, just read only verse 1 to 3 for us and let's leave the rest. But I put it to the end. From verse 1 to the end, I wrote here. Judges chapter 4. Yes. From verse 1. And Hebrew was dead. The children of Israel again did evil in the sight of the Lord. So the Lord sold them into the hand of Jabin, Jabin, king of Canaan, who reigned in Hazor. The commander of his army was Sisera, who dwelt in Arashes, Adam, And the children of Israel cried unto the Lord. For Jabin had nine hundred chariots of iron, and for twenty years he had harshly oppressed the children of Israel. Verse 4. Now, the Torah, the prophetess, the wife of Babylon, was judging Israel at this time. And the world, and she would sit under the palm tree of Deborah between. Rabbi, between Rama and Bethel, in the mountain of Ephraim. And the children of Israel came to her for judgment. And she said and called for Barak, the son of Abin, from Kadesh in Naphtali. Continue, woman, I'm sorry, ma'am. When you get to the end of the day, you're not where you're going to, that's where you're going to stop. And said to him, as not the Lord God of Israel commanded, go and deploy troops at Mount Dartabo. Take with you 10,000 men of the sons of Naphtali and the sons of Zebulun, and against you I will deploy Sisera, the commander of Japan's army, with his chariots and his multitude at the river of Kishon, and I will deliver him into your hands. And Barak said to her, If you will go with me, then I will go. But if you will not go with me, I will not go. Hallelujah. So she said, I will surely go with you. And nevertheless, there will be no glory for you in the journey you are taking. For the Lord who says to Sarah into the hand of a woman, then Deborah and Rose and went with Barak to perish. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As we can all see, Deborah, she has the courage. 
She called the man, go for work. The man said, if you are not going, I will not go with you. And I know that what I saw in the character of Deborah, number one is that she, she is a courageous woman, she had the heart, and she was faithful to God. That woman was faithful to God. If you read further, I want to know more of this story, because I went a little bit far and searched out for her story. Deborah, while others were busy serving idol, while others were busy destroying and lives, then Deborah was saving souls. She was saving souls. Because of her, the nation was saved because she went with the man prior to the war. She went and though she's not the one that killed the evil man, but as a woman as that, she stood. A woman with a different. We have to stand our man when we come to that, that, that age. A woman with a different. We must stand our ground, no matter what is going on. We must stand our, our ground, and we must take the first step. We must take the first step. As a married woman, for example, we also want to do something, and it's like it's afraid. You can take the, the first step. Or you want to say to your children to do something, and they say, no, 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 this one, no. Take the first step. When you took the first step, surely they will follow you. Because you trust in the people. Not just taking the first step because you want to take it on your own. Because it's not for your mind. And so you want to know. Let the Lord lead you. Let the Lord lead you. When the Lord leads you, then take your step. You will surely overcome. Because in the midst of all these things, if there is no fear of God, there is no way we can make it. We can say we are the women of grace, we are the woman of this, we are the woman of that. What really makes us what we are saying we are? For we have to carry, for we have to quality. One time I pray a prayer, let, Father, let, let me not miss my woman. That's in the name of woman. It's not by saying it to the one to me. I'm a woman, but there's, there's something that makes you a woman. And especially a woman with a difference, not just a woman. Praise the Master Jesus. Praise the Lord. Okay, Master. Okay, Praise the Master Jesus. Now we go to Esther. We are not going to be reading anything. We go to the book. We go to Esther. Esther is another person that I love so much. She has an opportunity to enter to the throne. She has the opportunity. What did she do? Did she leave that opportunity for herself alone? No. When, 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 when the Israelites was in trouble, when Yerma was trying to, to kill on the fire just to destroy the Israelites, what did she do? She said, if I perish, I perish. You fast for me, let me fast, then I will go to the king. It is not the Lord that I supposed to go, but I will go if I perish, let me perish. Has he come to that, to that? As a woman with a different, has he come to that, for you to stand your ground? Let it happen, I will go. When you are going, bow yourself up with prayers, because that is what kept her. She goes, she was not consumed. She was faithful in the sight of the king. Hallelujah. And the Israelites were saved. But you can ask Brother Anna, Brother Emma, if he that launched the, the gallop to destroy the man, he was the one that took over. That is why we must be very careful whatever we do. Praise the Lord. That takes me to the house of God. Women of grace, a woman with a different, don't use your mouth to destroy the man that fed you. Don't use your mouth to destroy a woman that fed you or anybody that has fed you. Someone that has tried to do good to you. Because of sin, they say you want to destroy that person. No. Let's be very careful. Praise Master Jesus. Praise the Lord. Don't be that kind of woman that has opportunity. Instead of you to help your brothers or to help your sister, you say, No, I know they help you. Praise Master Jesus. Don't be like that woman. That my mother the little girl that danced to the king. Hallelujah. Don't be like that. The little girl that danced to the king. 
what did she want? Instead of using the opportunity that she had to say, I want the half of you, King John, like the man the king has said, she went to ask her mom, what did you think I can ask? The mother said, the head of the John the Baptist. If, if she was right, you know, she could have asked mom with the head. Why? Why so on his head? Why not part of this property? But she followed her mother. And she was destroyed as well. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. It's not because someone has done something wrong to you. What happened that? The John the Baptist said, you were not supposed to marry her because it's your brother's wife. Well, because of anger. Praise Master. A woman with a different, you don't have to have that character. Because of anger, somebody has wronged you before. Because of that, so I think the first one that made the diagnosis was saying, No! Praise the Lord! Praise Master Jesus! Oh, honor Delilah! Hallelujah! Delilah that just want to destroy. Delilah had the opportunity as well. Samson was a wealthy man, a great man. He had the strength. He can do anything. Praise Master Jesus. If Delilah was wise enough, he can well bring himself and manifest because of. This person do me this thing, this time ago, I was not about like this. Hallelujah. That is not a woman with a different in a positive way. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Praise the Lord. And this time, let us ask God, Father, grant me grace. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me to be that person you have made me to be. Help me to be that person you have made me to be. Because God made us, God did not put a seed of anger in us. But mostly these things happen because we make ourselves available. We make ourselves available for them to pray against for them to come in. This time let us pray against that spirit in the name of Jesus. Spirit of anger, spirit of heaviness, spirit of jealousy. Your mercy, Lord. Your mercy, Lord. Your mercy, Lord. Help us to become who you have made us to be. Help us to be a woman with a difference. Help us to live a life that will be pleasing in your sight. Help us to live a life that will be glory and honor to your name, my Father. Help us, oh Lord, for that good the late right after your name. Father, help us, my Father. Help us, my Father. Help us to move to set the right step. To set the step at the right time.